Hey, this is Paperweight Investigate, a place where you can feed your paperweight addiction and look at some lovely art glass. Now, I'm not an expert, but I am an enthusiast. And today we're looking at some unusual um, European weights, I believe. This one uh, actually arrived yesterday and I absolutely love it and I have no idea who made it. So let's have a look. You look inside this paperweight, can you see how it's got the white, um, delicate white structure inside and then these swirls on the outside? Quite amazing. So if I look, if you look at it from the top, controlled bubbles. Uh, let's see if it's a better view this, if I do it down here, I'm not quite sure. And that's a better view I think so if you can see there's it's just gorgeous it's got this like delicate structure inside now I'm going to show you the base now that base does not look Chinese to me that base looks like it's I don't know Scottish or something there's no signature that I can see no anything see the size of it very big I would say Magnum. So if you know what this paperweight is, please let me know because it's really lovely and I love it. Um, I adore it actually. I think it's really, really nice. And I'm obviously going to be keeping that in my collection and I'd love to know who made it. Um, there's another paperweight here, which may or may not be Chinese, um, but it's basically, I like the colors because um, it has like a gradient in its colouring there. That's better to see the gradient in the colours. And those three bubbles in the middle are very controlled. Now the base is, mm, I'd say slightly opaque, but also not as opaque as I've seen in some Chinese. Um, but perhaps it is a Chinese weight, it probably is. I just think it's a really nice, uh, well done one if you like. Now this one, um, I've seen ones like this uh, in other places and I think they may be Czechoslovakian, although I could be wrong. Um, Jaff Rose, is it, who import these, I think, and these are art glass. They're, they're not, uh, not Chinese as far as I'm concerned. Polished base. Very pretty, small. Now here's one I'd like to finally show you, which looks a bit kind of all over the place. <laughs> um, but there's a little story behind this one. If you notice, it actually has canes that look a bit like Perthshire, and then canes in the middle that look like Murano. Um, and that's because they are uh, well, I'm not saying those canes are Persia, but what I'm saying is they're Scottish canes and they are Italian canes. Now, when I first saw this paperweight, that's what I thought. And I thought, well, surely not. Surely they're not going to be in the same weight, you know. And they seem a little bit kind of all over the place, haphazard. Anyway, turns out, if you look on the base, there's a sticker. And it says, um, Isle Sculptured Glass. And I'm going to put on screen a copy of an email I got about this because this was made by Paul Critchley of Isle of Wight. And he said when he was emailed about it um, that he did in fact make this and that he was given the canes by someone. <laughs> um, and it was a very long time ago. I think it was probably one of his first ones that he made, I think. Um, and he just said, yep, yeah, he made this weight. <laughs> Which is so interesting, isn't it? So that's the Isle of Wight in the UK. Um, so I'm going to end this video there. Let me know if you know which this one is and who made it. And uh, stay tuned, please, on this channel. I'm going to be talking about lots of other paperweights, such as White Friars, such as um, Murano, such as... Oh, lots of them. Selkirk. I'm going to show you some of my Selkirk collection. I'm going to show you Caithness. Not all of the paperweights that I show you will belong to me. Um, 
a number of them may not belong to me but you know uh, there's going to be lots more so please subscribe 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 and share i'd really appreciate it take care and god bless everyone bye